Hey everyone, in this video, we will share with you the best things to do in Sigiriya. In April 2024, we spent two weeks traveling in Sri Lanka, out of which we spent two nights in Sigiriya, which gave us enough time to visit the main things to do in Sigiriya. There will be an historical a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a hike to a viewpoint for sunset, a beautiful temple with many statues, an amazing elephant safari, and some delicious food. And if you are looking for more in-depth details, check out our video about our journey from Negombo to Sigiriya. Without a doubt, the best thing to do in Sigiriya for us is to visit the Lion Rock. According to the ancient Sri Lankan chronicle, this area was a large forest. Then, after storms and landslides, it became a hill and was selected by King Kashyapa for his new capital. There, he built his palaces on top of the rock and decorated its side with colorful frescoes. The capital and the royal palaces were then abandoned after the king's death. It was later used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century, and today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After getting a 36 USD ticket, you will be able to visit the museum, telling you all about the history of the place, and then walk up the ancient rock fortress located on a massive column of granite approximately 100 meter high. Located next to the Lion Rock is Pidurangala Rock. This is without a doubt the best place to actually see the Lion Rock. The view on top of the Pindurangala Rock is magnificent and it is the best place to actually watch sunset or sunrise. The entrance fee is only about 1000 rupees per person. To get on top of the Pindurangala Rock, it's a nice and easy hike. At least at the beginning, following a somehow made trails. However, the end of the trail can be a little tricky. And you may have to do a part of the trade at night. Beware of the monkey, while waiting for sunset, Tina almost got her small backpack stolen by a monkey. I just managed to grab it before the monkey got it. Another one of our favorite things to do in Sigiriya is definitely a safari. There are three national parks near Sigiriya, where elephants are roaming wild. Kandula, Mineria and Urulu Eco Park. In the morning, be sure to ask your host to check where the elephants are, and then book a safari. The afternoon safari we did started at 1.30 pm from our accommodation. After driving to the park, we started exploring it, and by the end of afternoon we had seen so many elephants. It was so great, and we even saw little ones. At some point we even were surrounded by them, and the best is that we had the whole jeep all for ourselves. Regarding cost, it was 12,000 rupees for the jeep and 5,000 rupees for the entrance fees. Some 30 minutes from Sigiriya is Dambula. There you can visit the breathtaking Cave and Golden Temple. The Cave Temple is really amazing and quite unique. It is the largest and best preserved Cave Temple complex in Sri Lanka. The cave we visited contains statue and painting related to Gautama Buddha and his life. They are a total of 153 Buddha statues, 3 statues of Sri Lankan kings and 4 statues of gods and goddesses. The murals cover an area of 2100 square meters, which is really impressive. Once out of the cave temple, be sure to walk to the Golden Temple, located some 5 to 10 minutes away on foot. There you will be able to see the Golden Buddha statue, which stands on top of a museum. The cost to access the cave temple is 2000 rupees per ticket. Siguria is definitely one of the best places in Sri Lanka to eat food. We found that Siguria is, without a doubt, one of the most authentic places in Sri Lanka. There we had some of the best food we have ever tried, most probably the cheapest and where the portion were the biggest, one dish could have easily be for two. We would especially recommend SLK coffee, where we got the best curry and kotu ever, freshly made, huge and so delicious. 
And if you are looking for more things to do in Sigiria, you can consider visiting Polon Narua or Trincomale. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, we created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones, as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access as well as all the future updates. So if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description.